late 2012 early 2013 15 inch retina macbook pro uh, model number a1498 logic board number a203332 and uh, this this particular model uh, uh, probably most likely have bad gpu so um, um, on most of these models gpu doesn't go bad actually you know what goes bad is uh the bad soldering job on the from factory on a on u8900 uh, chip and uh, in like 95 percent cases all you need to do is just to touch up that chip and uh, it will solve the issue when the screen turns black and the computer shuts shuts down randomly on this particular model, this particular computer, uh, we will do the we will be doing the GPU bypass because these uh, artifacts, you know, it's not it's not the U eighty nine hundred. I already tried that. I tried to touch touch up, touch that up, and uh, it did not work. So uh, and uh, looking at that board also at this board, it looks like it was messed with. The GPU was messed with. That's why probably it failed. So uh, I'm gonna be doing the GPU bypass on this the this discrete graphic chip bypass. And uh, also, I'm going to try to enable uh, my native brightness control on it because the information I found about the GPU bypass only shows uh, the, the brightness control at 100%, so it cannot be controlled. So uh, we're going to try to do it the same way uh, I did on my previous videos about uh, 2011 models, 15 and 17 inch. So uh, let's see how it goes. So we have the board out and uh, once again uh, I'm going to show that uh, as you can see the uh, GPU uh, shield, the black shield there that's supposed to be there is missing so most likely it was messed with. The PCH shield is missing too. So uh, once again I want to stress out uh, that before you go with GPU bypass just try to touch up this chip right here. Just resolder this chip and uh, in 95% cases, all your problems with uh, this uh, model of MacBook Pro will be solved. It's not the case on this logic board though. So uh, we're gonna be first, first thing first, we're gonna be removing these two coils. This coil is L8930. Uh, this coil and this coil is L8960. Uh, okay, so let's get them out of the way. Both coils are gone. I just used the soldering iron. I did not use the uh, the hot air station. Not to damage anything around it. So this is just pretty simple. This is the tip. This is awesome tip for the hacker station. I love this tip, so uh, let's move on. All right, so uh, now we are going to connect these three lines right here. This line, this line, and this line. This is uh, uh, LCD backlight power management. This line is LCD power uh, enable, and this one is LCD backlight enable. So these three lines, for now, for now, because I'm 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 gonna be uh, I'm gonna be changing this line after. I just want to make sure we have the after we we disable the D, G, uh, DGPU. I want to make sure we don't have any artifacts on the screen, and then I'm gonna be messing with the uh, backlight, uh, the native ba uh, brightness control. So uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna connect these three lines one two three to this uh, a resistor right here th this pin this is actually this you know this is all in line this is uh, uh, this uh, line is uh, uh, pp three v three underscore s zero line so we're gonna make all these three lines um, to uh, force them to have uh, 3.3 volts on on this on these three lines. So uh, once again, this is this this chip. So you have a reference. This chip is uh, uh, U9200 U9200. These three lines to 3.3 volt. Okay. So 
so we have these lines connected make sure you know they're not touching anything else this is the uh, insulated wire as insulation so it's not you know even if it's touching any pins if it's not soldered it's not it's not it's not making a contact so make sure to use the proper wire for this job I'm moving moving on So we are in the same area U9200 and now what we are going to do is we are going to connect this top top side of, uh, of U9200, these two pins, the first and last on this side, this pin and this pin. So this pin is, is the same, this uh, uh, test point right here, so we're going to connect we're gonna run a wire from here to this uh, uh, capacitor. This is the ground side of the capacitor. This is ground, and and to this pin, the test test point. So we're gonna basically we're gonna ground uh, this pin and this pin on this chip. Okay, this part is done. So once again, this is. Uh, this is U9200 and uh, these are, uh, this is pin 15 right here and this is pin uh, 11. So 15 and 11 are grounded. This is the C9200 and this is ground side of it. Moving forward. Okay, next step is uh, on this side of the board actually. And we are looking for the test uh, point for the LCD MUX, LCD underscore MUX underscore SEL. And this is the pin right here. Okay, this is the pin. This is it right here. This is the pin, and it is next to this um, resistor R8345, R8345, this one, R8345. So we're gonna run this uh, uh, test point, the signal, LCD MUX, MUX SEL to the ground, we're gonna ground it and the the closest here, the closest ground here is actually right here, either here or or this capacitor. So, so let's make make it happen. This is done, and uh, that's basically it for uh, the hundred percent brightness on the screen without the native brightness control. Uh, let's uh, put it back into into the casing and see uh, how we did and we are back in business so this is the bypass of gpu on uh, a1498 to late 2012 early 2013 macbook pro red so uh, right now we don't have the uh, nvidia 6 650 gpu it's gone completely as you can see so one the only thing we have is uh, intel hd 4000 and uh, as I said, this is the, so far, it's the 100% brightness. So uh, you can install the uh, brightness slider application, probably same thing as 2011 and control the brightness that way. It's not actually, you can, you, you're not really actually controlling the brightness. I think, you know, you're controlling the, um, I, I forgot what it is, but anyway, it's not, it's not actually the, the backlight. It's, it does not control the backlight. So, um, if you find with this, you know, you can leave it at that, but we are going uh, deeper and we're going to uh, dig the, uh, uh, dig the, uh, uh, the PCH and, um, dig for the microvia and try to enable, uh, native brightness control, native brightness control on this one. But, uh, so far, you know, it's working fine. No problem. Me to, oh, actually, it's mid 2012. Yeah, I was wrong. 
so uh, it is mid 2012 or early 2013 retina i mean this is the first generation retina that came out in 2012 the one the early 2012 is that is not retina that one is a1286 this one is a1498 so uh let's go ahead and enable native brightness control i'm not sure if it's gonna work but uh we'll see we'll try next step the native brightness control the pch right here it is it actually looks exactly the same i believe as 2011 model so uh we have our guidance here for the microlia so let's see come on okay right here basically so we have this uh, capacitor right here and we have this line this line right here this line going and in about that's what's this is my uh my mark actually bottom of the bottom of the capacitor and on the uh, on the line so if you continue this line and continue the line of the capacitor down so about intersection of those two imaginable lines it's actually a little bit lower but this is this is i marked it this is about the the the, the point of the microvia the, the 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 pin that we need you know the contact so we're gonna dig for that this is about the the right uh, spot so uh, let's do it in order to dig for that microbe i'm actually removing my barlow lens that's what it's called so it's easier uh, to control the blade it's easier to see so uh, i added some flux there so it's so you can see a little bit of trace there actually as gold goes up so you can see there in the center is our microbia so uh, what i need to do is just add a wire and run it to that uh, backlight power management and disconnect the power manager management from 3.3 .3 volts basically so uh, this uh, this um, line will control it we'll see if it's gonna work Okay, doing a little interconnection point here on the PCH from the one of those pins from all the memory module. Right here, so gluing it there on PCH, running a, a, a 0 0.02 millimeter wire from the microvia to that interconnection point and then running uh, 0 0.1 millimeter um, uh, insulated wire from that uh, interconnection point all the way to the power uh, backlight power management point So the line is going from um, PCH on the other side of the board. There is a there is a point right here on this side of the board, but uh, this side is facing up. So I just didn't want it to be visible. You know, I wanted to hide it as much as possible. So I'm gonna cover it in UV mask later. But uh, I wanna test it first, see if uh, if it's working actually. And. Uh, Right here we have, uh, as you can see, we disconnected that last uh, line, the, uh, the LCD backlight power management line from 3.3 uh, .3 volts. So it's not connected anymore and it is connected to that microwave on our PCH. This is where uh, that line is going. So I'm gonna make it nicer, but uh, first of all, I wanna test it and see if it's uh, if it's good to go okay we are getting close the backlight is going in and out so this is not the proper connection i believe but it's kind of 
semi working but it's just going in and out so i believe what i believe is we have to connect it to a different connection point let me just i don't want to mess it up so uh what i'm going to do actually is uh, i'm going to connect it to a little different um, spot right here this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to connect it to to, to lvds backlight power management rc and i'm gonna disconnect the lcd backlight power management so so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna basically remove this uh, r 9704 so uh ba backlight power management is not connected to this line and i'm gonna solder that uh, wire from microvia right here to pin two of r9704 we'll see if it's gonna make a change okay so here what we have now the wire is just i'm just testing it for now not uh, i'm gonna put it properly in place but i'm sure it's working so uh, on this side we have uh, our R9704 removed basically it just uh, I just turned it and uh, we have our uh, microvia connected to the LVDS um, underscore backlight underscore power management underscore RC line so let's test it out okay so uh, the backlight is not working in this case it's actually you know what i think it's not even uh, the full brightness it's not even 100 percent right now i think it's just uh, it just uh, was left at the at the proper setting so um We'll see what else can we do. Can we do? So uh, checking it out a little more. It looks like I'm not sure if uh, a native brightness control is actually possible on this model with this hardware bypass meth method. Most likely, um, in order to get it working the same way as uh, on 2011 model, the GMAX chip has to be flushed with the firmware that has to be created basically so uh, at this point I'm just gonna disconnect that wire and uh, cover the PCH for the future in case the appropriate patch will be available but um, and I'm gonna connect back the, the LCD underscore backlight underscore power management PWM uh, of uh, R ninety one twenty eight back to three point three volts, so the backlight will be always always on high setting, and uh, I think we will call it a day. It, it's it's definitely better than it used to be before. It wasn't working at all. Now it works, just uh, with the backlight at full brightness, and uh, also the I I, I tested the display port and hdmi and uh, they don't seem to work so that's another uh, that's another downside same as this 2011 model but uh, anyway it was a uh, it was a good try and thank you very much for watching people of the future thank you if you like my videos please subscribe thank you